And welcome back to Frontline's Fuel of War, everybody. Frontline's Fuel of War? Why does that sound wrong? It is not wrong, though. So when we last left off, we took out the artillery positions, and now we need to move further into northern Kazakhstan. Let's go. Your objective is the fuel control system at the base of the tower. Detonating this should ignite the fuel lines and destroy each of the rockets. Sounds good to me. Shame we keep getting these main battle tanks there. I'd rather have the IFE. Still, how hard and complicated can that be? Yeah, EMP generators are a new thing. Uh, you can see them, actually, by the little red circles that come out of there every now and again. Um, they're kind of annoying. Like, they will shut, as he said, they will shut your vehicles down and render them basically useless. You can still fight and fire, but you can't move until you actually go up and uh, find the bloody thing and sort it out. Now, you can usually, if you know where it is, cheese it. Yep, there we go. Ugh. We are under its influence, which is... A problem. If we sling enough shells through, we might be able to sort it out. Maybe not. Just a bit of a crappy angle, I think. Also, I like the way the tank tracks actually depress and stuff. Some interesting physics going on. Okay. Let's stand back here. Do some damage. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, I... Yes, the enemy's smarter than I gave him credit for. That's okay. Oof. That is one hell of a defended position. And this right here, this is a perfect argument why 4K and resolution matters. Because when enemies are just little blobs far off into the screen, oh god, you can barely see. Bit problematic. Okay, who's next? Get rid of this douchebag up here. He's a problem. Right, that EMP is really dug in over there. That's okay. I can't, boys. I can't do everything on my own. I mean, I suppose I can because I have no choice. Get rid of Sniper Joe over here who's asleep at the wheel. Okay, that will work nicely. Let's take a little walk up here, shall we? Uh, maybe we can't. I guess our boots aren't uh, good enough quality for that nonsense. Hello. Come on, Ivan. There we go. You know he's dead because he threw up his rocket launcher. Ooh, damn it. Ooh. Ooh, that stings. Have none of that, sir. The right tool for the job. He's gone. Oh, actually, I don't. Yeah, we can get a tank in here, I think. So I'm not actually sure. I think. Well. Uh. Well, I think our tank blew up anyway, so I guess that's a moot point now. Alright, well, let's go take out the EMP. Not that there's any point to take it out now, but I mean, sure. Ooh, shots in the butt. Let's get these grenades to do the talking, shall we? Come on, you snaky little... Red bastards. No time for communism. Ooh. Let's have a play with this. Oh. I guess it just makes us a huge target. Who'd have thunk? Damn, down to a handful of magazines already. Ooh. Who's up there with a rocket launcher? It's a little bit naughty. 
We need to find some ammo. Luckily, I think there's ammo over there somewhere. Rarely ammo too far away in this game. God, this grenade launcher. Whoa! I preferred that when I had a bit of cover. Right, looks like we're going to have to move up. That's okay. I tell you what, you really miss not having a sprint button. Ugh, there we go. At least we don't have to grab this with our teeth. The weapon does actually disappear. Oh, 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 oh hello. Don't mind if I do. I think the barrel's bent. Now this is more like it. Some nice firepower. Hey, buddy. There we go. Put them down in two shots. It's kind of difficult to get headshots in this game. At least if you're me, anyway. Now, one thing I will say is the way this game controls with analog sticks is actually very good. It's surprisingly um, held up well. Sometimes when you go back to old first-person shooters, they have like really weird dead zones and, you know, it's just a bit funky. This game is not. This game has held up surprisingly. Surprisingly well on the control front. Oh, hey, dude. He's doing his best to blow himself up. Which is fine. I don't mind that when my enemy's killing themselves. As long as I can stand back and watch, I'm all for it. Right, what we got? Ooh, turrets. Eh, not much of a turret, more of a gun emplacement. But I ain't having any of that. Oh, hello. How many bullets can your body hold, sir? Where did he... The way your men work is weird. It's like, where... Where, where, where did you... Whoa, Jesus. Where did you come from? Honestly. There's someone with a rocket launcher having fun. Git could be anywhere. Is that you over there? Well, let's go do something about that. I don't really want to get shot in the back. Oh, ain't the only one. Ah, oh, you. Nope. What the hell is going on with my bullets? I have no idea. I think they were coming out of the barrel sideways. That's certainly a bit of a serious malfunction. Right, anyway, good thing I got one of these smooth ass demo chargers. There we go. I like the way he places that demo charge as well. He's like in no rush whatsoever. First launch facility destroyed. Nice work, stray dogs. Well, I'm pretty sure. The fuel lines in the far launch tower didn't ignite. The rocket must have been disconnected and already fueled up. You'll need to get to that tower and place a charge up on the rocket itself. Move quickly. God damn it. Who would have thunk it wouldn't have been that simple? Right, let's go. Yunk. We have one lone survivor from this area by the look of things. That's kind of cute in a way. Uh, let's go for the IFV first. Sadly, that wakes both of these gits up. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. That's... Ooh. Jeez. Well, I don't know what this Rusky's shooting at, but... As long as it's not me, I'm happy. Two shells on top. Should be hitting his top armor, actually. His weak turret armor. Yes! Excellent. Let's move. Keep this party wagon moving. Oh, hi. 
get the 50 to doing some work. Yeah, that really doesn't last long, does it? Runs dry so quickly. Oh, that's okay. Oh, hello. I see you slyly hidden around the corner there. Dude with the rocket, do you want to, like, aim at the armor? Just saying. Might be a good idea. Maybe. Rocket on rocket trooper. Oh, we need to back the hell up. Don't really want to lose the tank. Having said that, not convinced we need the tank. There's too much more of this. Well, whilst our guys are putting some lead out, hopefully we can repair. Oh, I like the way you actually see the rocket canisters that they drop when they reload. Well, actually, the spent rockets. It's really cool. This game had a lot of detail in it. Such a promising developer. It's just a shame they went on to make some shitty games. Which was probably not what they intended. Now, from what I can understand, these guys actually started off making a uh, mod for another game. And I think EA was so impressed with it, they actually hired them on to make this game. Which they did, obviously. This is not going well. Then EA wanted them to shovel out generic shooters. Which is where we got the uh, Homefront game, which... Uh, like, Homefront was... Eh. Um, you know, it wasn't the worst game in the world, but certainly wasn't anything to write home about. And uh, then we got uh, Homefront 2, which was, from what I heard... And from what I saw, it was a big load of dog shit. Unfortunately. And you know what EA's like. If you don't perform, or at least old EA, they don't seem to be too bad at it this, these days, but if you can't make a good game, or you make one turd because of our shitty practices, we'll shit can you. Alright, I think we've cleared this area. I want Mercenaries 3, goddammit. That's one we need to do. Mercenaries 2. Mm. I haven't played that for many years. Right, cool. Well, I mean, I guess we are. Thanks for the brand new tank spawning in. Ah, lovely. Let's keep this party wagon rolling. Ah, oh, shit, enemy choppers. Yeah, enemy helicopters are a thing. They're not... Uh, they're not too bad. They have their moments. Yeah, that's a chopper. It will... Take the tank out. Yeah. As you can see. Ah, oh, that's not good. Yeah, oh. Guys. Oh boy. Oh dear, oh dear. Our guys don't use the lock on system for their rocket launchers for some reason. Um. Guys? You can shoot at the, the tank or the helicopter, I'm sure. I'm sure that is in your um, power. Right, hopefully there's a rocket launcher around here. 
I mean, rocket launchers generally aren't that rare. Ah, see? Ask and you shall receive. You're screwed now, lad. I think these guys generally take three shots. Well, I mean, it wasn't wasn't really chewing us up. Suppressing, yes. But uh, anyway, he's done. So your men are kind of not that useful or effective against anything other than the most basic of enemy infantry. But I have a suspicion as well from playing a lot of this game and testing. I think the enemies, uh, or your allies rather, weapons do significantly less damage than yours. Because you can, like, three-shot a tank, right? Your tanks cannot three-shot an enemy tank. It takes them about five, six, sometimes more shots. And that's kind of the same when the enemies are firing um, at your allied tanks. Not you, but your allied tanks. So it's kind of a bit weird in that respect. See the cool damage system in full effect there. Ooh. Ooh, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oof. Not sure what happened there, but I'm glad it did. Something died, and it wasn't us. Oof, spicy. Got rockets flying to the left, to the right, to the up, to the down. It's getting pretty intense. Be nice if one of our men would actually get in a man the turret, but you know, can't have everything. Alright, let's push this line up. Ooh. I guess we did. I don't know if we actually took that point in our tank, or whether that was because we had other men there as well. I don't know. I don't know if NPCs can. Um, take territory. Kind of cool if they could. Well, I mean, enemies can take territory, so... Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Alright, this bit is spicy. The best thing we can do here is just rush. Take that last missile silo. Wow. Yep. Thanks, genius. Pretty sure I could have worked that one out. Whoa, God. Enemy armor. Guys, stay and fight, please. Just because I'm pulling back doesn't mean you lot have to, alright? This is a team. Team effort. I'm pretty sure I'm just generic soldier guy 36. I'm not actually your commander highlighted because we can't even give orders. Luckily that guy blew himself up. Which pleases me greatly. Nice. Alright. Okay. Now this gets really freaking spicy up here. Get rid of some of these gun turrets. Whoa. Who's got the frickin' rocket launcher? You know what? We're never gonna get an angle. We're never gonna get an angle. Let's just go. You, sir. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Oh, wow. Guess these guys are kind of everywhere. Which makes sense. Really? Okay. Some weird aiming there. That's fine. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Oh, man. The first round seems to always miss. Either that or my gun's bent. Or I'm just useless. All of these things are possible. Whew. Okay. Okay. I think we're clear. Ow. 
Right, he has to die. I have to get all these rocket guys away from the rocket. No time to become the rocket man. Or something. Ooh. Right, okay. Let's move up here. Now, up here is freaking dangerous. But we're going to do what we can. Amazed there's no dudes up there. Actually amazed. Alright. Now, over here is another story. We've got gun turrets. The whole nine yards here. And if you think, gee... Be a nice place to spawn another helicopter. You'd be right. Let's get rid of this bloody gun turret. Oh god, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Whoa. Whoa. Sneaky little Ivan. Uh, yeah, so we can only have the assault. That's unfortunate. Luckily, redeploying does not actually um, eliminate all the weapons that you've already collected, which is good. Gee, if I only had some men that were covering me. Oh, yep, helicopter. <laughs> helicopter has already arrived. Gee, what good timing it has. Now, where is that little bastard? Time to swap a bothersome fly. Oof, good. So it should... T Ooh. He's using the tooth chipper. That's a nasty helicopter. Looks kind of like a Hockenham. Oh, God. Good thing he doesn't have any kind of flare dispensers. Whoa, look at the pilots come out. <laughs> yeah, me like. I'm going to clip that bastard. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, shit. Okay. Luckily, there's only ever like one helicopter. They never come in pairs or anything. Which is good. Because you'd be hosed otherwise. Oof. Oh, he's up there. Luckily... A rifle is pretty accurate. <sighs> it's accurate when it needs to be, anyway. Oh, that's still her. I was a fool to think that my men would have taken... Wait! <sighs> Am I the only one in this fight? I think I'm the only one in this fight. Right, who is... Where did you come from? Are you, there's a sniper literally right there that all of my men are running past. <sighs> I think I'm the only... Ooh. <laughs> okay, we need that turret gone. I said we need the turret gone, not let's throw grenades at our own feet. Alright. Sneak. Ooh, what have you got over there? I don't know. Ooh, this is nasty. Yep, I see him. Alright. Dude, if you could maybe shoot something. At least just pretend to shoot your gun. Just a little bit. No? Okay. Don't worry, I've got this. I guess. Look at these idiots, they just pour through. Ooh. Cover, men. Bit of fire support. That's it. There we go, I knew you could do it, guys. I knew you could kill one for yourself. Ugh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> no. Okay. No ledge grabbing mechanics of any kind. Not that I expect there to be. But. 
Okay, what have we got going on? Right, we now have a clear little... Clear little access point. Now, I think there's some enemies still up there. At least... There's some down there. Oh, go on! Two t mighty titans fighting for their own countries. Going all out. Bless them. Heroes. Freedom fighters. Legends amongst men. We're going to have to intervene, aren't we? This game's AI, everybody. Really is that easy, dude. So let's go bust open this pipe. Oh, hello. You can hit me, but you can't hit my friendly soldiers. Why not? Well, luckily, I can hit you too. Well, I'm pretty sure your bullets do more damage than mine. Well, actually, I don't know. You do seem to be able to kill them pretty bloody quick. Right, let's get one of these uh, smooth ass charges out. Lovely jubbly. Boop. And let's get out of here. Yeah, there's no way we escaped. <laughs> there's no way we got down from that tower. Yay! I do like the cast of generic Red soldiers. Seven Russian headquarters was a base inside a mountain. The Russians' very own Cheyenne. The place had been around since the Cold War of the 80s, and they just kept upgrading it. Special intelligence reported that there was an ICBM nuke inside, capable of hitting coalition targets. The Russians had already proven they had the balls to use it. Red Star armies had also counterattacked in Kazakhstan and mounted a major offensive in Eastern Europe, capturing sections of the Baltics and the Ukraine. The Russian general himself was thought to have been commanding from inside the base. And I guess the stray dogs really wanted to meet him, because they brought one hell of a greeting party. Indeed, but that's going to have to wait for the next episode. This next mission, Mountain King, oh boy! This one gets a little bit naughty. Um, <laughs> let's put it lightly. But we do get to command a helicopter, which is fantastic because the helicopter is awesome. It's just a shame that we uh, literally um, have it for like 30 seconds. Uh, sadly, huge missed opportunity uh, because man, is it fun. But anyway, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.